Hey guys, so today we'll be talking about um, 5.6 logs change of base and today is December 19th. So this concept is important because your calculator can only use base 10. Now, we've been doing stuff where you write an exponential and you can have x in the exponent and we use the change of base property, but what if they don't have a common base? So the formula for this is log base a of B equals a fraction. It'll be log base 10 of B over log base 10 of A. So we can use this formula in our scientific calculators to solve. Okay, so we're gonna practice doing some examples. So example one, log base five of 27 equals. So if we want to rewrite this, um, the exact answer would be log 27 over log of 5. And I'm just going to write a side note. So this is the exact answer. So I could give you this on a no calculator part of your test and have you rewrite it, but you're just going to rewrite it as a fraction. Now if you take your calculators, and you do log of 27 and divide by log of 5, you should get approximately 2.05. And you're done. So now if we do 4 to the x power equals 17, first of all we should rewrite this as a logarithm. So log base or of 17 will equal x. Now log base 4 of 17, um, ooh, let's find the exact answer first. So it's going to be log 17 divided by log base, sorry, log of 4, and that will give us x. So remember that's the exact answer. If I want the approximate answer, I will use my calculator. If we do log of 17 divided by log of 4, you should get 2.04 approximately is equal to x. So make sure you're practicing this in your calculators so that you know you can do it for your quiz. Why don't you pause the video and try to do example 3 and example 4 with your group mates. So for example 3, you will do oops, log base 6 of 457 equals x um, to solve with the base 6, we would have to do log of 457 divided by log 6, that's the exact answer. After using your calculator, you should get 3.42 approximately. For example four, um, 
we can rewrite this as 4 to the power of x equals 13 sixths. Then rewrite it as a log. So log base 4 of 13 sixths equals x. Then we'll take the log of 13 sixths and divide that by log of 4. And then running out of room, um, you get about 0.56. Okay, the really nice thing about this formula is word problems, or using it for word problems. So you might want to pause it so you can write it down. You started an account with $500. The account had 11% interest. How many years will it take you to reach $1,200? So the first thing we have to do is write an exponential equation. We'll have y equals our starting value, which is 500. So we've got $500 in our account. Um, where is it? It's got 11% interest, so that's going to be a growth of 11%. So 1.11 to the power of x. Remember, because it's a growth, it's going to be greater than 1. 11% is 0.11, so that's how we get 1.11. Now, if we go to use our equation, 12,000, here, I'll color code. So the 11% interest is how we got this. OK. So if we um, substitute 12,000 is our y value, that's going to equal 500 times 1.11 to the x power. So in the past, you may have used guess and check for this, but now we can use logarithms. So solve to start solving for x, we should divide by 500. So 1,200 divided by 500, we get 2.4. So 2.4 equals 1.11 to the power of x. And now we can rewrite this as a logarithm. So log base 1.11 of 2.4 will equal x. Now it's on a nice base, so we can use change of base. So we'll have log of 2.4 divided by log of 1.11 equals x. Remember, that's your exact answer. Our approximate answer will be 8.4, and this is time, so we'll say years. Okay, so that's that. So your homework tonight is a more practice your skills worksheet. Um, please get started on it now. These are class copies, so before you leave, they should be brought to the front table. And I will see you tomorrow.